If your goal for 2020 is to apply for a loan and purchase a home, then this FYI Friday is for you. Hi everybody, my name is Marianne Knowles. I'm with the Jamison team of Lively Real Estate. Today we're gonna to talk about the mortgage process and what banks look into in order to give you a loan to purchase a home. Number one is credit score. Let's just start simple. Banks wanna see that you have three open lines of credit. They wanna see that you owe money to some places. Places like credit cards, auto loans, or school loans. Now you don't wanna be carried away and owe money to lots of places, but three open lines of credit is what banks need at a minimum in order to even consider giving you a loan. Some banks will work with credit scores as low as 580, but getting your credit score up will not only increase your likelihood of getting a loan, but it will increase your likelihood of getting a good rate. Here are some ways that you can increase your credit scores. Payment history is the biggest thing. Banks want to see that you're making your payments every month on time. This shows that you're responsible with your loans and you're able to afford them as well. Another way to build up your credit is to never have more than 10% of your balance. So if your credit line on a credit card is $3,000, try not to ever have it max over $300. And every month, make sure you pay off that $300. You'd be surprised at how quick your credit scores increase over time. And last, try not to have too many open lines of credit. Your goal should be to have about three to four lines of credit and to try to pay them off each month, but to have longevity with each one. Showing that you're consistent and that you have built some longevity shows that you're responsible and that you can make these payments over a long period of time. Number two is job history. Banks want to see that you have a job and that you could pay a mortgage. If you're W-2, then this is much easier because they can see a consistent wage over time. But if you're 1099, which is a commission-based job, they may have to look at two full years of commission to see that you're able to afford a mortgage. The next aspect is debt to income ratio. Now banks wanna see that even though you have these auto payments and credit card bills, that you can still afford your mortgage. So if you're looking to do an FHA loan, they'd like your debt to income ratio to be 55% or less. And if you're looking for a conventional loan, then your debt to income ratio should be 50% or less. Now please keep in mind that these debts include what's reported on your credit scores, not things like grocery bills, shopping, and utilities. Lastly is cash on hand. Banks want to see that you have enough money in the bank that will cover both your down payment and your closing costs. Now I'll be doing another video to talk about those down payments and closing costs, but just know you'll have a higher likelihood of getting approved for a loan if you do have enough money in the bank to cover those costs. And please keep in mind, I am not a lender. I know plenty of lenders that I can refer names to. They can go over all of this information in much more detail than I did today. But this is just something for you to keep in mind if your goal for 2020 is to purchase a home. Please contact me if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. We will see you next Friday for another FYI Friday. I hope you all had a great holiday. Take care.